Welcome back to the channel, my name is Chris and I'm a Gorilla in the Wrist. Today we're reviewing this Pagani Design PD1731, uh, an homage to the Grand Seiko SBGW301, which would set you back a cool 4K. Now I picked this one up for 26 quid, and I guess the obvious question is, it just can't be any good for that, can it? It just can't. But let's see, let's crack on. Okay, so you all know the way that these videos work. So I'm going to start off with a quick run around the watch itself. So what we have here is a very simple 37mm dress watch. The dial is cream coloured. Um, it has very simple double buttons at the 12, the 3, the 6 and the 9. And it has single buttons everywhere else. Um, there's no date complication, uh, it's very simple. Um, the indices, the batons are applied and they are quite highly polished um, and so the light plays off them really interestingly. Um, the hands themselves are Dauphine hands, um, nice quite a long minute hand um, and decent size hour hand and there is a pop of contrary colour there um, from the blue needle second hand. Um, which stretches all the way out some minute track that goes around the outside. Um, the watch itself has the Bagani design emblem um, above the pinion and below the pinion it says 100 meters 330 feet and Japan movement right at the very bottom. And that's it really, it, there's no um, bezel. The finishing generally um, on the top of the case is brushed, um, however the sides of the case have got a fairly good high polish on them. Um, the finishing is okay, it's not excellent. There's a little bit of a chamfered edge there, but that's it really, it's a, it's a fairly simple watch. Um, it has the Seiko VH31 movement in it. Um, it has quite an interesting, um, I was gonna say dome sapphire. I think this is probably a top hat sapphire crystal. Um, so quite impressive. Um, it has a stainless steel one piece bracelet um, all the way around to the clasp which is a decent milled clasp clicks down uh, it's a I suspect a pressed outer um, but is branded on the safety clasp as well um, the back of the case is screwed down you can see there um, has the Pagani design logo and the model number on it um, and the crown is at the standard three and again that's Pagani design branded as well and that's it really this is <laughs> this is a fairly simple watch there's not a great deal to it so we're going to run through the basic specs on this watch the dial width is 37 millimeters the lug to lug is a rather compact 45 millimeters, has standard lug width of 20 millimeters and a thickness of 12 millimeters, most of which is that uh, top hat sapphire crystal, has the Seiko VH31 movement, weighs in at 126 grams and has 100 meters of water resistance and as we said has a top hat sapphire crystal. Okay, so let's talk about the things that I don't like about this watch. Um, and we're gonna start with the bracelet. Um, so that first end link, it's 
well, the whole thing is a bit jangly and I was going to be highly critical of it because of just the nature of it. Um, but I think the biggest problem with it is that end link is just not very well fitted. Um, and the other thing looking at it, this might just be me. Um, it normally is. But if you look at how um, it seats in the lugs, the um, bracelet seats, um, what I can see is I can see a gap at the top that I can't see at the bottom. Um, and that tells me one thing really, well it tells me possibly two things. Um, it tells me either that the lugs on this have just been manufactured wrong um, because what it looks like is that the gap at the top of the lugs is different from the gap at the bottom of the lugs and that's why the fit doesn't look quite right. The other option is that it's the bracelet is narrower at the top than it is at the bottom and at this point I've tried measuring it and it's so tiny um, that you can't actually figure out um, what the actual problem with it is. Um, so that I think is slightly problematic um, and the other one just a, a general issue I guess with any watches which have um, sort of a reasonable amount of high polish um, and not only on the side of the case but on the side of the strap as well um, it's a complete fingerprint magnet. Um, even wearing gloves, I'm having to wipe it every old, every sort of 15, 20 seconds to get the fingerprints off of it. Um, so yeah, this this is going to be one of those ones that's going to annoy you because you're going to know it's fingerprints. Um, but that's about it, really. I, I'm struggling because it's so simple. I struggled to find much else that was wrong with the watch. Um, so instead of wasting any more time doing that, let's get into the things that I like. And the first thing that I really like, and this is going to be very, very confusing, um, but I think the bracelet, or certainly elements of the bracelet, I really like. Um, so we've mentioned the gap between the lugs and the fact that that first link isn't brilliant. Um, but remember, this is a £26 watch. It's got highly polished edges. Um, the links that it's got in there are actually screw links. Um, the clasp has a very high polish on the sides, um, but it's brushed on the top. It's got the logo on it. It is a pretty decent scissor clasp. Um, and I'm now pointing at the Caddison that I reviewed last week, which cost twice as much as this and had a quite a um, crappy clasp on it by comparison to this. Um, three holes of micro adjust, um, security pusher branded. It's quite impressive. Um, and so if the only problem with it is just that problem of the gaps at the top, maybe I'm overreacting a bit. Maybe that's not as much of a problem. Um, and certainly what we're going to do at the end of this section is to sling it on some other straps because I have a feeling this is going to be a bit of a strap monster. Um, the second thing I really like about this, and I guess Bacardi don't get any credit for this because they didn't design the thing, um, I just love the simplicity of it. Um, it does one thing and it does it really well. Um, it looks gorgeous. It looks much more expensive than it is. So I've been wearing this with a black shirt today um, and it looks really good. It's classy. The third thing I like about it is the visibility of it. So I thought when it turned up, oh great, creamy coloured dial, um, silver coloured hands, this is just going to be terrible to see it, you know, take it outside in the daylight and you won't be able to see a bloody thing. Um, and there's a little bit of reflecto, but actually I have to say that most of the time, and remember, I'm filming this in a very bright room, most of the time you have no problems seeing what the time is. Um, the hands don't lose any visibility. There is occasionally a little bit of reflection, like then, but it's not doesn't last long. Um, and so very impressed with the visibility of it. Um, and the final thing is obviously the price. Uh, £26? I, uh, um, and I'll stick a little thing up because actually I was looking at it today. Um, the price, so I bought this before the March sale and the price had crept back up to £27. But there was a note on, on there saying sale coming up, at which point you'll be able to pick this up for 22 22 quid? That's just surreal. Um, so I think this one, despite its ridiculous price, um, has a huge amount going for it. There's lots of positives. Um, and I've had it on my wrist this week and I've really enjoyed it. So I first tried it on this blue leather trying to pick out the color of the second hand. 
Um, not sure about this one. I think it's okay. The surprise, I think, was the black waffle strap that works really, really well. Um, this one was a San Martin one, but just the look really works with the um, cream dial. We tried a couple of NATOs. So first up was this maroon coloured one that seemed to work okay. And I tried one on a sand coloured NATO and that seemed to work well as well. Um, but my favourite was this tan coloured leather strap that really just brings the colour of the dial out. Um, let me know what you think. So, let's have a go at summing this Pagani Design PD1731 up. Um, so I started the video by saying, for 26 quid it can't really be much good, can it? And I have to say that that's completely bogus. Um, this is a fantastic watch. It's not perfect. Um, but for £26, the specifications that you get for it are fantastic. Um, it has, with one exception, a really good bracelet. Um, the dial is lovely. Um, you have a top hat, sapphire crystal. I have no idea how much that costs, but I doubt that it's cheap. Um, it's got the Seiko VH31 movement in it. 100 metres of water resistance, so this has been in the shower with me already with no problems whatsoever. Um, it's elegant. It's stylish. They didn't design it, but this is a good watch. Um, and if I'm scoring it, taking into consideration the price, for me, this is a 9 out of 10. I rate it that much. Uh, a fantastic, gorgeous dress watch. Um, so my recommendation is, um, I'll stick an affiliate link in the description, um, but when it gets to £22, please, please, please go and have a good look at it. Um, it's fantastic. Um, it is also clearly a bit of a strap monster, as you would have seen from the strap session. Um, so that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this one. Um, there's lots more stuff to come. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, drop a comment. Let us know what you think. If you like it, if you disagree, if you agree. Um, let me know what you'd like to see next. Um, and that's it for Saturday, really. It's Grand National Day. Um, so I'm off to watch the Grand National shortly. And all that's really left is for me to wish you a fantastic weekend. Take care, everybody, and I hope to see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.